my dear students i hope this journey of learning english has been wonderful till now i assume you all are working on the assigned tasks in the worksheets and i hope new viewers will subscribe to our channel english flight academy and hit that bell icon to get notifications of all the newly uploaded videos of this grammar series i'm pretty confident that this series will help you master the basics and take your english to the next level click the like button and do share the video with family and friends In this video you'll learn when to use present perfect tense and present perfect continuous tense. Okay. So let's proceed. So the third tense, the third sub tense in the category of present tense we are learning today and the present perfect tense we use this tense when we talk about an action which got completed just recently. Okay? The word just is added to indicate that the action is a recent one she has just arrived she arrived only a short while ago i hope it's clear we also use present perfect tense when we talk about an action which began in the past and continues till the moment of speaking or just finishes at that moment for example they've been here for three weeks they came here three weeks ago and are still here so this is the second usage of present perfect tense the third usage is when we talk about an action that occurred in the past but whose effect can be felt at the moment of speaking i have already seen the movie so you don't want to watch it now that is the thing okay so you say it i have already seen the movie when you know that the action occurred in the past but whose effect can be felt at the moment of speaking an example of present perfect tense our teacher has explained tenses today the action has completed just some time ago okay again i tried explaining taking the table so that you understand it pretty well with i v u they are subject have plus verb 3 plus object okay i have eaten chocolates we have eaten chocolates you have eaten chocolates they have eaten chocolates similarly when it comes to he she it he has eaten chocolates she has eaten chocolates or it has eaten chocolates or you can take a singular subject as seema has eaten chocolates present perfect tense negative sentences okay please note a point that in this tense present perfect tense we use the third form of the verb that is past participle okay i have not eaten chocolates we have not eaten chocolates you have not eaten chocolates they have not eaten chocolates or you can take a plural subject or he has not eaten chocolates she has not eaten chocolates it has not eaten chocolates when you want to ask somebody a question then have you eaten chocolates has he eaten chocolates similarly you can frame as many sentences as you want then in present perfect tense negative questions you are going to use the short form haven't you eaten hasn't he eaten hasn't she eaten like that so with the question words we can just say like this where have you eaten the answer could be i have eaten in a restaurant okay Uh, why have you eaten i have eaten because i, I was hungry like that okay uh, then when have you eaten i have eaten just some time ago you can say like that okay where has he eaten he has eaten in a restaurant why has he eaten he has eaten because he was hungry okay like that you can continue with as many sentences as you want then present perfect tense uh, negative questions with question words why haven't you eaten why hasn't he eaten like that you can ask a question with somebody okay present perfect tense at a glance you see i v u they i have seen the movie i haven't seen the movie have i seen the movie you're doubtful about it okay then you can say that 
haven't i seen this movie or the movie okay you can ask even that way when have i seen the movie you're just thinking about it you're not able to recollect it then you can ask that question to yourself why haven't i seen this movie or the movie when do we say that when the movie is really good until now you haven't watched it and you are uh, totally you know feeling sad about it that you haven't watched the movie in the same way with he she it he has seen the movie he hasn't seen the movie has he seen the movie hasn't he seen the movie when has he seen the movie why hasn't he seen the movie like that you can ask as many questions as you want taking different subjects but please make it a point that with singular we use has and with i and plural subject we use have now the last tense in the category of present tense okay this one is present perfect continuous tense we use this tense when we talk about an action which began in the past and is in progress at the time of speaking and will extend into future okay we'll see more examples so the examples of present perfect continuous tense you see children have been playing in the garden since morning okay and john has been working in an mnc for 10 years means the action started in the past action is still in progress and will extend into future i hope it's clear let's learn it through table so that it becomes easy okay so he has been playing cricket since morning the time expression usually is essential in this tense I have been playing cricket for 4 hours and you can frame as many sentences as you want but please ensure that you use the subject and along with the subject when to use has and when to use have okay here been is added plus verb one plus ing the word order is given very clearly in the tables so in negative sentences when we talk about present perfect continuous tense then he hasn't been playing cricket since morning he has just begun okay i haven't been playing cricket for 4 hours i have just begun like that you can argue with somebody whenever you want to uh, have a conversation similarly present perfect continuous tense when we talk about positive questions has he been playing cricket since morning have i been playing cricket since morning or have i been playing cricket for 4 hours like that have you been playing cricket for 4 hours that way you can question somebody or yourself and when it comes to negative questions hasn't he been playing cricket since morning think i saw him like that okay then haven't you been playing cricket for 4 hours that way you can question somebody if you want to extract some information from them okay you saw them doing that and they are denying it so you just want to emphasize and ask a question when it comes to question words it's used like this okay uh, why has he been playing cricket since morning doesn't he have any other work like that okay why have you been playing cricket for 4 hours don't you have any other thing to do that way you can uh, ask questions with somebody just to extract some information or want to emphasize that they shouldn't do this okay one very important thing to notice since is used with point of time and for is used with period of time that means whenever we talk about since we have to be very specific that means since morning since evening since childhood okay since monday since july since 2007 like that but when we talk about for okay when we use for the preposition then you are going to use it with period of time it could be for 4 hours for 4 months for 4 years that way okay so you are not specific here but you are just mentioning for 4 hours for 4 months for 4 years for 14 years and so on i hope it's clear a short dialogue has been given there a uh, present perfect tense when we talk about it then we are going to ask questions in this manner where have you been i have been to school where have you been i've been to school where have you been i've been to school 
Have you ever been to London? No, I have never been to London. Have you ever been to London? No, I have never been to London. Have you done your homework? I haven't done it yet. Please say it out loud with me so that you uh, get accustomed to ask questions in present perfect tense. And note the point that verb 3 is used over here. Okay. Have you done your work? I haven't done it yet. The same tense is used while answering the question. When has she arrived? She has just arrived. When has she arrived? She has just arrived. Okay. When we talk about present perfect continuous tense, say it out loud with me. How long have you been playing tennis? I've been playing tennis for four years. What has Nikhil been doing since morning? He has been completing his homework since morning. What has Nikhil been doing since morning? He has been completing his homework since morning. In the same way, how long have you been working in this school? I've been working since 2007. Look at the difference there. Okay, since 2007. Okay, that means you are mentioning the point of time. Okay, you can't say for 2007 there. Okay, that would be wrong grammatically. How long have the children been playing? How long have the children been playing? They've been playing for two hours. Look at it for two hours. Okay, if you want to mention since 11 o'clock, then it will be point of time. But for is used for period of time. Okay. How long have the children been playing? They've been playing for two hours. I hope the topic explained today present perfect tense and present perfect continuous tense in this video is very clear. If you have any doubts, you can just ask me in the comment section or mail me and ask me. I'll definitely ensure that, you know, I reply all the queries and new viewers are requested to click the subscribe button and click the bell icon so that you get notified for all the newly uploaded videos. Do click the like button if you feel it's worth liking and uh, share the video with your members of the family and friends. That's all for today. See you soon. Bye and happy learning.